Welcome back to Analytics Insight. This is your host Ramoli and today we are going to talk about a very life-saving technology indeed which is Generative AI. We could call Generative AI as AI's best innovation. It allows users to produce new text, audio or visual output using pre-existing materials. With Generative AI, computers can identify the underlying pattern in the input and generate material that is comparable to it. Generative AI uses machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms to enable computers to create fake content such as text, images, audio and video based on training data in a way that fools the viewer into thinking that the content is authentic. Now that we have a fair idea, let's look at some use cases of generative AI. Number one is healthcare. Semantic image to photo translation. This technique turns conceptual sketches or images into photorealistic pictures. For instance, diagnosis may be considerably more precise if X-ray or CT scan images could be transformed to real images. Number two is in GPS. Map views are created transforming satellite pictures. This could be a significant step toward exploring uncharted territory. Number three would be in film business. There are many different and extensive uses of generative AI in the film business. One wouldn't have to wait for hours or days to take a picture in ideal lighting or weather. Instead, they may take the picture whenever it is convenient and edit it in the right conditions. Number four is search engine services. The advancement of search engine services is possible with generative AI. Translation from text to image is one example. It creates realistic images from return descriptions of things like flowers and birds. Well, every technology comes with its own good and bad. And that is the case with generative AI as well. In terms of security, some individuals may utilize generative AI for unethical goals, like defrauding others. In addition, there are some unexpected results. It can be difficult to manage the behavior of some generative AI models. And now you know what are the good and bad of generative AI. Let us know in the comment section below what are your views more on generative AI. But before you do that, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video with some other innovative technology. Thank you and bye.